What's going on everybody, this is DK Dynamite, and today we're going to be talking about everything we know so far about the Season 5 Battle Pass for Modern Warfare 3, definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and just as a bit of a reminder, we should be getting marketing for our 5th season on Wednesday, July 17th. That's an exact week before the start of our new content drop, but marketing could be a little bit odd as we'll talk more about later in this video. If they decide to, for whatever reason, talk a little bit more about Black Ops 6, that could shuffle how the new season of MW3 does get revealed, but the fifth season does begin officially on July 24th, unless there are some delays. With all that in mind, the Battle Pass itself for Season 5 should be getting announced on Tuesday, July 23rd, about a day before the start of this new content. We should be getting a full breakdown of all the cosmetics, store bundles, and even some surprise events for our fifth season. Now, that should also be the same day we end up getting a full trailer for the Black Cell update in Season 5. Season 4 was a bit odd, considering there was Black Ops 6 marketing happening right around the same time, which completely changed up how the season itself did get revealed. We'll talk more about marketing later in this video, but as a reminder, there's also plenty of brand new article coverage coming up on Detonated.com for those who want to stay up to date with all things Call of Duty. Now, with that out the way, we do have some brand new rewards that did get revealed for COD Champs. That's going to be an official event happening in Texas from July 18th until July 21st. Now, I believe tickets have already gone on sale as of like a good two months ago-ish, so I'm sure those have long since sold out, but as some of the rewards that you can see on screen, there's going to be a gold face universal camo, a brick by brick blueprint, and then several emblems, calling cards, stickers, XP bonuses, all for watching on specific days of the COD Champs live stream. It'll be happening from Thursday to a Sunday, and by watching for X amount of time on each day, so 30 minutes, an hour, 90 minutes, you end up getting your hands on some of these various cosmetics. The full article on that is linked from Detonated down below. Starting off with our operators in the Season 5 Battle Pass. So, as of right now, it's a little bit unknown who the focus is going to be. Season 4 was a bit odd since I think right before the marketing began for the fourth season a bunch of images did surface of some of the models that were for some of the season four operators did surface early on twitter so we had a bit of a glimpse as to what they actually look like this time around we just have a list of operators that could be for season five or beyond so there have been rumors for several months and seasons about melina a character from campaign it's unknown if she'll ever be a playable operator but like i mentioned before in my other season five video considering this is probably going to be the final normal is season that's not fully themed around halloween like season six will be then this is probably the last chance she'll end up dropping and could be a focus in our battle pass she's a big enough character in my opinion that could warrant being in the spotlight we also have a character like thorn who i know for sure was a character we had in modern warfare 2019 could be cool to see him added back either through a battle pass or i guess could just be in one of the random bundles that also drops throughout the fifth season but other operator code names that could be for some of the season five battle pass operators include mochi caramel sapphire gelato ruby gulag and even fuel so this is a list of operator code names that could be for our season five characters some of which could also be again in the battle pass day one so you're obviously going to get instant access to one of the new operators right when you purchase the battle pass itself whether it's the regular edition or even one of the bundled battle pass options but there can also be some other new characters throughout some of the various tiers as we've seen in previous call of duty battle passes something i want to talk about though is the potential for some crossover skins in this season five battle pass so as we talked about in some previous videos that i posted a good two weeks ago ish there's a rumor that i think has really made the rounds around the call of duty community and that's in regards to deadpool and wolverine so apparently there are these finishing moves that i could totally see the resemblance of when it comes to comparing these to deadpool there's these finishing moves that could be for a potential deadpool operator skin now as i talked about in length in that video link below i don't really see a marvel collab happening just yet with call of duty but if it does happen i think this would be a great film to start with considering Deadpool and Wolverine comes out two days after the start of season five how perfect would that be if in the battle pass you can get your hands on a Deadpool skin that would be insane and probably the most sold battle pass to date it's always a possibility but there's even what I talked about before the slim chance that WWE also crosses over with Call of Duty considering the recent promotion around the ring and around some of the stadiums where the events have happened there have been some COD mobile promos happening with WWE which could be setting the stage for a potential collab where you see superstars in in MW3, Warzone, Warzone Mobile, and even COD Mobile. Snoop Dogg was one of those operators many years ago that released separately for COD Mobile and Vanguard, but during the same month, right? COD Mobile is disconnected from the premium and main Call of Duty series, but Snoop Dogg ended up being a collab that happened in both games. What if that happens again with WWE? You never know. Now, there's also that rumored collab with The Crow, which I believe could happen in Season 5. The movie does come out in August, so I guess that would be perfect timing to do one here in Call of Duty. Don't think that's a big enough collab, 
though, to warrant, you know, putting that operator skin in a battle pass, but would not be shocked at all if Season 5 does feature some collab skins, kind of in line with what we saw for Rick Grimes in Season 2, and even Snoop Dogg in Season 3. But as far as battle pass weaponry does go, I am guessing that any one of these three weapons could be in the Season 5 pass. We first up have the RPL-20, a rumored light machine gun. We also have the AVS-36, that's a weapon that also apparently just got added with the Season 4 Reloaded update, could be for our 5th season, and then we also have the STG. Talked about this weapon in length in my recent Season 5 weapons video. I think there's a high chance that any one of those three weapons, if not all three of them, do get featured in the Season 5 Battle Pass to some extent. You'll see maybe one or two weapons throughout some of the various sections of the pass itself. We typically only see two new weapons in our pass, but I don't think three is out of the question either. Now, if there's any other weapons that you guys would really want to see in the Season 5 Battle Pass, leave your best bets and comments down below in this video's description. But there's two other weapons that I think have a high probability of being in the classified sector along with those challenges, as well as maybe through a weekly challenge unlock, and that's either the Spear, which is maybe a throwable melee weapon that would be pretty cool. I know some folks in the comments of my recent Season 5 Weapons video did remind me that there actually was a throwable axe in Vanguard. Totally forgot about that, so Sledgehammer's actually done throwable melee weapons before. I think Infinite Warfare also may have had one, but off the top of my head, can't really think of too many throwables, so that'd be cool to see. I could see that maybe being in the classified sector, if not the compound bow. This is a weapon that's also been asked about for several seasons. Now, it got leaked out back during, I think, Season 1. So, if it's finally in Season 5, I would not be shocked if it's through, like, a weekly challenge unlock because it's a special type of weapon. If not, wouldn't mind if it's in the main battle pass either. But either way, the classified sector will open up with the mid-season 5 update at the very end of August. There'll be four challenges you have to complete to get four different rewards. Then an HVT will unlock, giving you a fifth challenge to unlock a potential DLC weapon. But as a reminder as well, for those out there interested in Warzone Mobile, there will be exclusive battle pass tiers when you play mobile. So you get more bang for your buck essentially. If you guys boot up Warzone Mobile and you have the battle pass purchased, you'll see additional tiers and rewards you can actually go ahead and grind through to get extra blueprints, possibly even operator skins, and other cosmetics that unfortunately don't transfer to the main game. But like I said, it's just extra content for the same price that you paid for either the base battle pass or even Black Cell. It's great that you'll get extra additional cosmetics on top of what you already could expect from the premium game. But aside from that, I think there's also a probability we end up seeing some other aftermarket parts kind of sprinkled throughout the battle pass. This hasn't happened every season for Modern Warfare 3, but there is a possibility that on the base battle pass itself, day one, you could see an aftermarket part put in one of the sectors. Wouldn't mind if that's the case here for some of the rumored ones like the Morse Blunderbuss attachment or Akimbo Spaz. There's some other ones rumored that I also talked about in that recent Season 5 Weapons video, but there's also a chance that one of the amps can make its way into the classified sector with Season 5 Reloaded. So keep that in mind in the case you're wondering how some of these amps could be dropped. Not all of them do release through weekly challenge unlocks, sometimes are a part of the actual seasonal battle pass. But coming towards the end here, when it comes to Black Cell, I think it was cool that Season 4 brought us two actual operator skins for purchasing the Black Cell bundle. I don't think there's ever been a season, at least in MW2 or 3, where you got two different Black Cell skins. Obviously, they're essentially the same skin, but it was cool to still see two added here in Season 4. So definitely expect at least one new operator, like a brand new character. And then on top of that, several looking Black Cell variants for the various skins throughout the Season 5 Battle Pass, multiple Tracer blueprints, possibly even a new finishing move. I'll keep you guys posted with what's going on with Black Cell because they typically reveal the Black Cell roadmap for a new season a good day before the actual marketing drops for the Battle Pass with the trailer and the full blog post. They might do that this time around, maybe on Monday, July 22nd. So I'll keep you guys posted with that and we'll be live streaming in the case that does end up happening. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on everything you know so far about the Season 5 Battle Pass? Well, obviously I don't know who the front and center stage characters are going to be for this season yet. There aren't any models that leaked out that can help us depict who the actual focus is going to be on. But either way, lots of possibilities with who the characters could be. Lots of potential with the weaponry we're going to be getting, plus everything else we discussed. Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody. Thank you.